Let's get it. Yes, sir. your boy G Ridge. Listen, family, I got uh, eight smoked turkey legs right here already, all right? Listen, I got one for you. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake eight smoked turkey legs, okay? And um, what you, well, I'm going to show you how to do this. You can you say, well, turkey legs, they're already smoked and they're already um, done already. All you got to do is heat it up. No, you got to, if you want to do it like I'm doing it in the oven, uh, you want to bake it for like two hours covered with like a splash of water in each pan, both covered, okay? Um, and you want to cook it for two hours for, at 250 degrees, somewhere around up in the area. I'm going to say 250 because it'll come out perfect, okay? And so then, once I do that, I'm going to put them in the oven and uh, um, I'm going to take them out like a quarter till the two hours is up. Yeah, that's my water from the beans. I'm going, I'm going in. It's a lot more going to this here, but we're going to specialize on these turkey legs today, okay? These smoked turkey legs. All right. I'm going to make a um, a glaze for a sweet glaze, honey, honey mustard, sweet glaze with the French's yellow mustard. Yes, sir. Come on, fam. Anyway, um, we're going to um, take them out like a quarter till the two hours is up, like an hour and 45 minutes in. We're going to take them out. Let them sit for five minutes. Then I'm going to put the glaze on it because you don't want to put the glaze on it as soon as you pull it out and it's steaming hot and the glaze melt off. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to put it on there and then I'm going to put it back in there uncovered for another 10 minutes so the glaze can caramelize onto the turkey leg. Yes, sir. I got one for you. Nice and simple. Quick and easy because the oven doing the work. That's the only way it's quick and easy. All right. So, fam, I hope y'all enjoying it. Having a blessed day. It's going down. Yes, sir. Got the family and everybody coming over. Um, but, um, this is what we're doing. Okay. Watch this particular recipe for the glaze. All right. Simple, easy. You can make it and taste it so you can, uh, until you like it and, uh, um, make it your own. Okay. Put it on the turkey, tur turkey legs, put it back in there. 10 more minutes. Let it caramelize onto the turkey leg. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be a thing of beauty. All right. So hold on tight. I'll be back with the ingredients. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I have a cup of H2O right here. We're gonna put a little, just a little splash. You don't want it laying in the pot of water now, okay? This just for the steam it a little bit, so it won't be so dry. That'll keep the turkey legs moist. Just a little splash here and there. That's all you need. Not a puddle. You don't want to lay it in the pot of water, okay? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cover it up. We're not going to put nothing on the turkey right now. If you have a lid on your, a lid for your pan, that's great. <laughs> that's great. But since I don't, I got to go with the foil, okay? All right, we're going in for an hour and 45 minutes covered, okay? You see the clock. I don't know. It depends on when I, when I go check it. I'm going to spin the pan around. What you can do periodically every 30 minutes or spin the pan around because you know how certain parts of the oven or your grill, you understand what I'm saying, get hotter than the other side. So that way it can be evenly heated and have the heat flow throughout all the meat. All right, so we're going in, fam. The oven already ready to go, as you can see. All right, fam, so here we go. All right, this is what you're going to need. Yeah, sir, French yellow mustard. We got some syrup. You can use what kind, but I prefer Miss Butterworth. And some pure cane sugar. All right, this is what you're going to need now. Listen to me. All right. You're going to use one full cup of French's yellow mustard to make this glaze. Nice and sweet, and it's going to be good. That's what we're going to put on our turkey legs. One fourth of a cup of syrup. Mm-hmm. Now, one half a cup of sugar that's it now mix it away mm, mm, you can do it however you like to do it look at that that's how you make that little mustard glaze mm, mm. Oh, oh. you know I, I make it a certain way because but you know 
aka Risa Richardson. She been showing me how to make this here, and then you can just do it how you want to do it after that. But yes, yeah, sir, baby, bad now, sir. Now, what I'm gonna do is this I glaze. I'm gonna do it from what. Okay, so now after mixing this up, there it is. That's my special ingredient: one tablespoon, one tablespoon of hot sauce. Okay, use any kind of hot sauce you want. Yes, sir. One tablespoon in, now mix it up again. Oh yeah, oh buddy. Y'all know this recipe came from, from, I put my little spin on it, but the original recipe come from Risa. She can, she can do it several different kinds of ways. Baby bad now, told y'all. Now look at that. See how it's darkened it up a little bit? Yes sir. Like I told you. So uh, one uh, hour and 45, min 45 minutes in, we're going to pull it out, okay? Let it sit for five minutes. Let the turkey legs sit for five minutes. Then we're going to take the glaze and put it on all the legs. Then we're going to put them back in there for another an additional 10 minutes, okay? 10 to 15 minutes, you know, enough time to caramelize onto the legs, okay? And this glaze, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. And mouth water, and you're going to love it. You already know smoked turkey legs taste like ham. But it's not, it's turkey. And then put that glaze on, this glaze on it. Yes, sir. All right. There it is, fam. All right, so now we're playing the waiting game. All right? So I'll see you when the time is, is set, okay? So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, fam. Because I don't took them out. Remember I say let them sit five minutes before you put the sauce on there, okay? Look at that sauce. I also have like two more that I got to pull out as well. Okay, so you're going to take the, the brush and just, you know, just make sure it gets all over it. And then we're going to put them back in the oven, uncovered, for another 10 to 15 minutes. So it can just caramelize onto the turkey leg. These take a, they like they about to bust wide open, fam. I was about to um, take a piece off of that. But I, you know, I didn't want I didn't want to do that because it wouldn't look right. This this picture right here wouldn't even look right. Okay, look at that. Look at that. See that glaze? Yes, sir. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this one. Then we're gonna stick that back in the oven. Okay. All right. Already did the bottom part. Okay, so we, we're doing this part, we're going to sit it back in there. Another 10 to 15 minutes, all right? All right, fam, I am finished with my part. Teresa wanted to make her some cornbread and uh, perhaps some mac and cheese. I don't know, but she definitely about to make her some cornbread. So you know it's going down today. And this is what I got to finish. Oh, yeah. Look at them beans. 15 bean soup. I got all kind of veggies in it. Look at the steam. They got like another 30 minutes to go. All right. They wanted some good golden brown ch fried chicken. Oh, yeah. We just getting started with that. All right. And last but not least, here's my finished look on my turkey. OMG. Now, you see how it caramelized onto the turkey legs? Yes, sir. It's like you at the fair somewhere. Yes, sir. The agricultural fair. Ooh, you see how golden brown that is? That's what you're looking for, fam. They are ready to eat, ready to serve. I got the other one sitting to the side. I did not have enough room to put them all up here, all right? I just want to see you, show you that finished look. It was an additional 15 minutes after I put the glaze on there, all right? Look what you got. Yes, sir. I hope y'all having a blessed day, and I will see y'all next time in the next video. Yes, sir. I finished look. And I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Anyway, I still told you it was nice and simple. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. Hey, you bye.